Okay, so today we're just going to go through the objective part of uh, an MSK assessment on the knee. So first off, we'd have the sub subjective assessment done, uh, which would include the specific red flags to the knee, so any locking, swelling or giving way. Um, when the patient came in, we'd observe his gait as well, see how badly he's walking, anything like that. Okay, so first things first, we'll get Craig, my glamour assistant, to stand up, please. Okay, so I'm just going to pump the bed up to your face, mate. I'm going to go through a couple of little mini squats, all right? There, support if you need it. I just want to see you do a couple of squats. So I'm just it's quality of movement. Any pain, any pain being replicated? In any pain there, Craig? No, definitely. All right, um, check from the back as well, after you're cracking. So, um, put a one leg mini squat. So if we start with your good leg, then just go down, sit. Great. Switch to your bad leg, that's it. Again, we're just looking for any pain replicated um, and the quality of movement. Okay, back on both feet. Just while you stand up, if we just get him to roll his shorts up, we just have a quick look, just eyeball it, any swelling, any muscle waste, anything like that. Go from the back and the front, have a quick look at his posture here as well. Everything looks okay. Lower the bed, Craig, and if I can get you to sit on the edge. Yep. Okay, great. Just gonna check, check his muscle power. We would do left versus right, but for the sake of the video and time, we're just going to do one, okay? So, check for uh, strength here in the quadriceps, so if you, that's it, extend your leg, that's it. And if you pull back against me, check his hamstrings there, great, check his hips while here as well. So if you just bring your knee up towards the same for me, Craig, that's great. And again, checking the joint above and below, so we can have a look at his foot there. So if you point your toes to the sky for me, great, push him down to the floor. Everything's fine there. Um, we'll go on to the uh, specific knee test now. So Craig, if you can have a lie down for me, please. Okay. Just get these shorts rolled up a little bit. It is important when assessing the knee that the patient has got shorts on um, because trousers can't be rolled up high enough. Um, and we do need to see the quads, see if there's any muscle wastage there. So if the patient has got shorts, you might have to do it in either underpants, something like that. Okay, so quickly just having a look. Um, any swelling, any muscle wastage in the quads. Um, general observation there. Um, have a feel of the patella. Compare left to right, good to bad. See what the movement's like. Um, if we pop the patient's knee into flexion there, um, palpate the joint line as well, see if there's any abnormalities when comparing his good and his bad leg. Any pain upon palpation as well. Relax there. I'll go through active range of movement first, so if I can get you to slide your heel to your bum as far as you can, Craig. That's it, great. We should get to go through this a few times. That's it, great. And then put some passive in, so any pain there? No? As far as you just bend your knee up like this. Again, this is getting the hip, the joint above it in, checking his range of movement, his ankle, which is all fine. Uh, Tele gliding, mal tracking as well. If we just get the patient to flex the knee there, put the hand over the patella as he comes down in extension. If there's any mal tracking, it'll be popping out where the patella's not gliding properly. Um, next thing we'll do, um, we'll look at the laxity of these ligaments. So we'll do the MCL and the LCL first, so it's just a shearing motion. Any laxity there. No pain or anything. For the LCL, get the patient's leg into flexion, sit on his foot. Any laxity there shows a rupture in his ACL. Similarly, the PCL, no problems there. Got the McMurray's test, which is checking for the meniscus, any tears in the meniscus, anything like that. It's a bit of an awkward and uncomfortable test, even for an unaffected patient and uh, people with arthritis as well sometimes feel this. I think that's everything. Yeah? Champion? Um, yeah.